Uh, hello everyone, I would like to show you the outcome of my tutorial which uh, dealing with the problem of compile open CV with contribution modules and especially I'm compiling open CV with GS Streamer on Windows 10 using Visual Studio 2019 and uh, I've never seen uh, the good tutorial how to install GS Streamer on Windows platform and it's uh, let's say not that tricky you can already read everything how to install for this development on my blog funvision.blogspot.com and uh, there is everything uh, you need to know how to let's say what to download from OpenCV. There is already a YouTube tutorial how to perform this installation in details of what CMake you need to acquire, what runtime and developer installer you need from GS Streamer to perform all these uh, all these example and build the OpenCV of GS Streamer support. And here is detailed manual how to set up your CMake and generate your project in Visual Studio and how to build and install uh, the OpenCV and uh, you can watch everything in that YouTube video as well and I would like to show you the output of this uh, I forgot To use GS Streamer, you need to under your environmental variables path set up the paths into GS Streamer bin, GS Streamer lib, GS Streamer uh, this one and this one. And actually, this uh, will allow your C application when it's running to find the GS Streamer runtime uh, environment and uh, access this runtime environment during the execution of your C++ application. Okay, let's uh, dive directly into this application. It's uh, nothing strange. Let's go to into the properties. In C++ I include the OpenCV 4.2 build free installed include nothing extra. In linker there is uh, x64 uh, vc16 lips and in inputs uh, I got just uh, core, video IO, video high GUI, EM ports, uh, object detection and face. And uh, let's dive into the code. Uh, here is just a simple video uh, HDD HTML5 uh, simple video player where the source of the video is this IP address and this uh, 8080 port and uh, it's uh, better to have this side by side like this and uh, Okay, the application is basically the same I already described here on YouTube and it's described as well on my channel. There is use a face detector and a detector for uh, face markers and uh, this is basically this processed loop and uh, let's skip the description of this processed loop is already, already described and just focus on main loop. Main loop, I'm loading model for face markers, I'm uh, loading the model uh, or um, the descriptors for for face detection here I'm performing video capture from the web camera uh, and actually for video capture in OpenCV you can use uh, FFmpeg you can use as well GS Streamer and you can use some uh, uh, let's say Windows libraries for video writer you can use uh, FFmpeg uh, to write something into file, but uh, produce uh, the video stream. You need to use GS Streamer, and uh, and uh, I would like to say 
you can save as well into some uh, file by GStreamer. Uh, it's possible, but uh, I'm preferring FFmpeg to write something into file from OpenCV. But to produce video stream, I test a lot of pipelines, a lot of different pipelines. And uh, this pipeline is basically here. It's a video writer. You need to take care that your size uh, is basically much the size of uh, what you are pushing into video writer here. And here is, uh, let's say, some basic description. This is application source. It's uh, the source is coming from uh, OpenCV app. Uh, there is video convert and scale with this parameter and uh, I will use this uh, encoding OGGMOOX uh, this encoding and OGGMOOX for output stream pushed uh, by TCP service sync uh, to that IP address and this port and uh, the rest you can read on my blog very soon and my loop is basically uh, convert to grayscale, this grayscale image is processed and the face is uh, detected and markers are, let's say, push over my face, here is resize and put this into video writer and everything should be visible as well on this simple web application. And uh, yeah, we need to run the program for a while and wait for output. And uh, this is the example what you can uh, build using OpenCV and GSStreamer and uh, stream the output of C++ application on a web or on some IP address. And uh, it's simple, the installation is a little bit tricky, but uh, it's definitely doable. And you can achieve this follow my tutorials on fun vision.